Hey, what's going on, folks? It's me. Wanted to roll something out to you, something I'm thinking about tonight, and uh, sitting here looking at this tank, and I'm doing a little bit of work on it, you know, just trying to get the scape the way I want it to, and it, it, as you know, it takes me forever to do that, and if you're anything like me, I mean, it's, it's complete trial and error. I, I, I plant plants, pull plants, and something that I was thinking about is I'm looking at this pathetic excuse for high grow pentaphyta that's in the corner of this tank that, needless to say, is about to get yanked out. Um, but I'm just wondering why, you know, months ago in, in my old scape where I had this, it was thriving and growing all over the tank. But yet in this scape, you know, with basically the same conditions, theoretically, it's not growing at all. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's in shock and I've been moving it around too much and that's not really the case. And I think I've narrowed down what's, what's going on. Um, and some of you people may already be thinking it. You might be smarter than me. That's quite possible. Um, but what I've narrowed it down to is pH, and that's really the only thing that I've changed, and I haven't really thought of that until tonight, uh, to be honest with you. I'm not a really fast learner. <laughs> um, but the reason why my pH is so different is because in my old scape, I, I, I ran a lot of driftwood. I, I ran a lot of Malaysian driftwood, which, as we all know, um, driftwood, a lot of kinds of driftwoods are going to you know, naturally lower the pH in your tank and soften the water naturally um, without buffers or anything like that so basically I mean when I checked my water you know months ago before my old scape with the driftwood you know I was running like literally you know like mid sixes pH is low sixes in the pH even into the into the low five so a pretty low pH um, really soft water um, you know, it doesn't seem to affect the fish or anything. They're going to adjust to it. I mean, fish are going to adjust to a, a fairly wide range. And a lot of plants are going to adjust to a fairly wide range as well. Um, you know, once you, you know, get them in the, in, in the situation for a while, a lot of plants are going to adjust. But some plants, like the high grow pinnatophyta, that, you know, a little bit more delicate and are a little bit more specialized as far as their needs and conditions, it's just not going to do well. Um, and it's just slowly not responding and just slowly going out slowly falling out and I can almost promise you that if I put a bunch of driftwood in here or some kind of buffer or something to lower the pH it would probably grow a lot better because the research that I've done on it the pentaphyta needs softer water it does better in softer water um, so I guess the point of the video is I mean guys if you're getting plants you know and sometimes they're not thriving in your tanks there's a lot of reasons why plants may or may not do good in your tank. So take some time to do some research. Maybe it's something you can change, you know, to get that plant to grow better if you really, really like that plant and just have to have that plant in your tank. Or the second option is to change, you know, change your selection out and put in something that's going to, that's going to do better in, in the parameters that you have set up for your tank. Now, my stuff always changes. You know, I may add driftwood. This, this scape's probably not going to change for a while as far as the driftwood, you know, being it is concerned. I'm not going to put driftwood in this tank. I am going to change some of the plants that don't do well um, in, you know, the harder water or more neutral pH that I'm running now, which I'm closer to neutral, probably above neutral. I'm probably in the high sevens as far as pH goes right now. Um, because it's just rocks um, and no driftwood, no buffering or anything like that. So, with that being said, the pentaphyte is coming out. The Econodora species, these narrowleaf chain swords, which is this grassy stuff here, you know, that does real well. The high growth species do real well. So, there's definitely a lot of things I can still run. Just got to change it up. And when I rescape some other tanks, I'm going to do some driftwood tanks. I'm just going to be more you know, specific and more careful with the plants that I choose. And just something to think about when you're choosing plants for your scape, guys. And something to think about if maybe some plants aren't doing as well as what you'd wish them to. So, scape's coming along. I'll get it figured out. The carpenters are coming along, I can tell you that. I know the stodgatory repens, stodgery repens, likes the uh, harder water. <laughs> so does the downoy. So, yeah, guys, that's what I got for you. Lots of plants in the store, as you can see. Had to move in a lot of stuff from the greenhouse. Got Sawtooth, Princess, a bunch of Ludwigia. Bunch of plants, guys. Get in there. You know where to get plants at. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. I'm running long, so I'm going to run. That's what I got for you, guys. Peace.